Hi everyone, I'm glad to share our recent work, Gang Compression, Efficient Architectures for Interactive Conditional Gangs. Gang models excel at synthesizing photorealistic results. Its conditional form, conditional gangs, further enables controllable image synthesis, allowing a user to synthesize images given various conditional inputs, such as user sketch and class labels. There are two types of conditional gangs, the paired and the unpaired one. The paired one, such as peaks to peaks, has ground truth input output pairs during training. Just as the left image, for each cat sketch, we know the ground truth cat image. In contrast, for unpaired one, such as Psycho Gun, the only thing we have is a collection of images from host domain and a collection of zebra images. The algorithm needs to learn the mapping at the same time without ground truth pairs. Low conditional GANs have enabled many vision and graphics applications. They are computationally intensive for mobile deployment. Compared to image classifiers, conditional GANs require two orders of magnitude more computations. Compressing generative models is challenging due to two reasons. Firstly, the GANs training is unstable. Second, recognition and generative models have different structures making it hard to apply traditional methods directly, such as pruning. To address the above issues, we propose GAN compression, a general-purpose compression framework for conditional GANs, which includes a training protocol tailored for efficient generative models and powered by neural architecture search. In our training protocol, we first unify the unpaired and paired training. For the unpaired model, given the original teacher GPI, we can build the original generator's output as our ground truth and train our compressed generator G with a pair learning objective. For the paired model, we directly use the ground truth target images. First, we get a reconstruction loss and transform the unpaired training to paired training. In addition, we distill knowledge from the intermediate activation of the teacher generator to the students. Conditional GANs usually output a deterministic image rather than a probabilistic distribution. It is difficult to distill the dark knowledge in the pixel level since output images generated by the teaching model essentially contain no actual information compared to ground truth target images. Moreover, the intermediate layers contain more channels, provide richer information, and allow the student model to acquire more information. Then, we adopt the same discriminator, use the pre-trained teacher's weights, and fine-tune the discriminator together with our compressed generator. Although we aim to compress the generator, a pre-trained discriminator D stores useful knowledge of the current generator. We use it to guide the generator compression. We optimize these three objectives together. Nevertheless, we find that naively shrinking the channel numbers fail to produce a compact student model. The performance starts to degrade significantly above four times computational reduction. Choosing a well-designed student architecture is critical for the final performance. Existing generators usually adopt vanilla convolutions to follow the design of classification and segmentation CNNs. An efficient alternative design is stepwise and pointwise decomposition. We observe that decomposing convolutions in certain layers also benefits the generator design in CGANs. On top of it, existing generators use handcrafted channel numbers across all the layers, which contains redundancy and is far from optimal. To further improve the compression ratio, we automatically select the channel width in the generators using fine grain channel pruning to remove redundancy. We first train an once for all network that supports different channel numbers via weight sharing. At each training step, we randomly sample a subnetwork with a certain channel number configuration, compute the output and gradients, and update the extracted weights using our learning objective. In this way, each subnetwork with different numbers of channels are equally trained and can operate independently. After the once for all network is trained, we find the best subnetwork by directly evaluating each candidate on the validation set. Since the once for all network is thoroughly trained with weight sharing, no fine tuning is needed. This approximates the model performance when it is trained from scratch. In this manner, we can decouple the training and search of the generator architecture. We only need to train once 
or we can pick the best one without further training. With gain compression, we managed to reduce the computation of cycle gain, peaks to peaks, and goal gain by 9 to 21 times while retaining the model performance. Here we show some visual results of gain compression of cycle gain on host to zebra dataset. The input host images and the zebra photos are from the original cycle gain. With our gain compression, we could reduce the computation by 21.2 times while preserving the visual fidelity. However, if we directly shrink 75% of channels, the image quality degrades sharply. The stripes of zebras fade away. Here are the pix-to-pix -pix results on edge to shoes dataset. Again, our method could compress the pix-to-pix -pix with minor performance degradation. Gain compression reduces the computation of cycle gain by 16.2 times, achieving 40 fps on Jason Xavier, 3.3 times faster than the original model while fully maintaining the image quality. Our code is released on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.